Well, so this is the part two. This is the part two. Um, we had ran out of uh, some available memory right there. And this is the part two about uh, Sophia Stewart, the mother of the Matrix. And we noticed that after, um, um, who was it? Was it Lizzie? Was it Lizzie right here on December, what was that, December 6, 2010? Um, saying that some of these guys and gals just don't get it, how um, black uh, copyrights and black rights have been infringed on time and time again. And many who are creative and also with a righteous, independent spirit would, would, would know that to be true from experience and from the experience of others. We know that after she wrote this right here, nobody responded to rebut the facts about how in the states let's just go through this right here because this is to discuss um sophia stewart sister sophia stewart right here the self-professed mother of the matrix the creator of both of the matrix i both the matrix idea as well as terminator and it's very interesting because we know that they could not have created these ideas but knowing these ideas are out there they stole them and manipulated them to kind of tell their story or their version of the story, just like Jesus, just like uh, Black Madonna, they paint her white, but still the oldest is known to be black. And how is a Black Madonna going to have a blonde hair, blue eyed child? You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we who are conscious and Christ conscious can receive her testimony. And after all, even in her book, the testimony is there. But we noticed that in spite of all these uh, responses, it was Lizzie. That says some very interesting things right here, which is that she has her own um, works infringed in London, and she's London-based and in the States. And when I took it to the courts in London, the lower judge told the other, the other side's um, lawyer, in an aside, not to comply with the order of the court, but to throw the request. He can't, of course, do that. That then, when we got the summary judgment um, hearing, the judge um, Henderson perverted the courts again. He said, "Yes, uh, Mrs. Ob Sanya, you won, but I will not give it to you." And then proceeded to gag me from speaking about it. They then uh, filed uh, my bankruptcy so that any time to pursue it lapses, but God is great and great in works of justice. Anyway, I also wrote a book, Can I Have My Cash Back, Please? That's the book that this respondent concerning the mother of the matrix, Sophia Stewart, this is a comment right here, um, and then they said, we have overcome. Um, oh, okay, we skipped over a little passage right there. So uh, my point, her point was, my point, um, I, this is, is it still a black versus white? Is that it's still a black versus white issue? Not just in the U.K., but the states with the 42 U.S.C. 1983 code where black civil rights can be violated by the judge and in britain they have a section 19c of the race relations amendment act and those of us who know about black inventions in america that would really surprise ones and ones if they ever investigate you know who really invented what who really is the creative force who really has blessed america this once lost but now found beta israel this um, lost sheep of the house of Israel, which the African American and the other blacks, Ethiopian Hebrews in the West really are, it would not really surprise you. Um, and um, Mrs. Sophia Stewart is the mother of the Matrix. And like we said, we have some to add to this, some revelation to add concerning Rastafari. And when you properly interpret the Matrix movie, how it leads and it connects with the half of the story that has not been told until now. So stay tuned. Once again, this is for our sister Sophia Stewart, the mother of the Matrix, and whether ones want to, as they say, believe it or not, once again, to paraphrase this sister's 
words here, Sister Lizzie, responding to this, where she says, um, some of you guys, Goyim, just don't get it. The facts are Sophia won, and it's not for the courts to decide as they are out of whack, but for the average man on the streets to do so. She presented her case in the book and copies of copyright registrations as would be requested in a working court. So we understand about the whole justice or injustice system in Babylon. If one is not awake to that, then they've already taken the so-called blue pill. Big up, sister. Big up to the mother of the matrix, Sister Sophia Stewart. 